Hello again. Today is Tuesday, September the 9th, 2014, and it's about 2 p.m. my time. I wanted to share a quick note about some petitions that I've started within the last uh, few weeks uh, on behalf of some individuals that we've uh, lost recently. Uh, one is for uh, the late uh, Joan Rivers. The other is for Robin Williams. Uh, I'm not buying the officialdom uh, concerning their death and uh, reached out to the governorships of New York State and also the state of California to appoint a special uh, prosecutor to investigate their deaths and uh, I'll link the uh, uh, petitions uh, in the description section for this video uh, for them also and uh, also started a couple of more petitions uh, within the last few weeks uh, one is for Mr. Dylan Taylor, a uh, young man who was 20 years old that was uh, gunned down by a uh, police officer uh, in Salt Lake City, Utah on uh, the evening or early morning hours of August the 11th, uh, 2014, just a few days after Michael Brown was shot and killed in Ferguson, uh, Missouri by a police officer. Uh, I have uh, reached out to the governorship of the state of Utah, Governor uh, Gary Herbert, uh, to appoint a special prosecutor for uh, that situation to be investigated. And uh, again, I'll link the uh, petitions in the description section for this video. I urge all of you to check them out. Uh, one other petition that I have as well is for Michael Brown himself and uh, also for reaching out to Governor Missouri Governor Jay Nixon to appoint a special new special independent prosecutor and uh, remove uh, Mr. McCullough, Robert McCullough, from the uh, adjudication of the Michael Brown shooting. Uh, I don't uh, think based on his history, his case history, and uh, the complaints that have been um, uh, mass demonstrated by the people and by his family in particular, Michael Brown's family in particular, that uh, Mr. McCullough is um, suited for the job and needs to be replaced. Uh, the last petition that I'll share is going on here in my own home state of Kentucky, and that's concerning the uh, race for United States Senate between uh, Republican candidate Allison Lund or uh, excuse me, Mitch McConnell, uh, and then Democrat candidate Allison Lundergan Grimes. Uh, there's also a uh, Libertarian candidate, David Patterson, who I'm supporting from uh, Harrodsburg, Kentucky, who is running. And then uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Ed Markey uh, from uh, Lexington, Kentucky, who's running as an independent. And uh, there's also several other uh, write-ins whose names I don't know uh, in particular. But I started a petition for my candidate of choice, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. David Patterson. Uh, to be allowed into the upcoming debates for Kentucky Educational Television. Uh, the first uh, debate for United States Senate here in Kentucky is on the evening of October the 5th, and uh, that's in the studios of Kentucky Educational Television uh, in Lexington, Kentucky, on the campus of the University of Kentucky. And um, uh, they are not, uh, KAT is not allowing or permitting uh, David Patterson and, of course, the other candidates that uh, are running uh, to be heard, and I don't think that that's right, and I've reached out to the executive director and the CEO for Kentucky Education Television, Ms. Shea Hopkins, uh, through petitioning to allow David Patterson to be heard and uh, also to give the other candidates uh, who are running besides uh, Mr. McConnell and Ms. Uh, Lundigan Grimes an opportunity to be heard as well. And again, I will link uh, those petitions in the description section of the video. I thank you very much for your time and I hope you all have a good day.